Hi everyone, it's Adam with Miles Restoration, and today I've got a video for you about soda blasting and removing the finish from this set of White Furniture Company nightstands. So I was just contracted by a local furniture store that I happen to do business with here to strip the finish from the set of nightstands, and I'm happy to do it. And I'm going to show you how I use my soda blaster to do it. So basically i've just got a ingersoll rand five horsepower uh compressor and i run this small soda blasting unit for now i'm hoping to upgrade to a bigger one sooner but this is what i do and you know i'm happy to do it for myself for stripping furniture but also i've been hired a few times by other local companies to do their furniture removal i mean finish removal for them because you know, removing the finish is such an inconvenient process and chemical strippers are just very difficult. So, yeah, I did this in about a little bit under two hours, I would say. Um, the only thing that kind of took a long time was the cleanup. But, yeah, it was pretty good experience, I'd say, overall. So, uh, please watch and please subscribe if you're interested for seeing future furniture restoration and antique restoration content. Thank you. So sometimes when you're doing this, it's just smart to realize what's a good time to stop. And this conversion varnish or whatever kind of finish that was on the top, usually people build up their, you know, millage of finish pretty thick on the tops as opposed to the sides. It was just too difficult to get off, so I just sanded it by hand. But the rest of it, I just used the soda blaster for
So I'm no abrasive blasting expert, but I've been doing furniture restoration for a little while now, not long enough to be an expert either. But I would say that generally speaking, the process that you need to follow for after you set a blast is I really like to try to vacuum everything because I feel like it's better than blowing it off because it, as opposed to pushing more of the contaminants into the grain, it pulls them out. And then I like to just take a damp rag and neutralize all of that baking soda. And if that takes two or three wipes with a damp cloth, that's okay with me. I just like to make sure that all of that baking soda is neutralized and that I'm ready to move on to the sanding phase to get ready for the finish. Also, if you do soda blasting, it will basically kind of not really tear at the wood fibers per se, although it will in some sense, but also that grain that was previously filled will now be open poured again. So you'll probably have to fill the pores of the wood again with some kind of grain filler if you want to get a really smooth finish. And here they are after this. Uh, the client was really happy to get them back and seemed just, you know, pretty excited about the fact that they had a set of cleanly stripped furniture. There's a little bit of finish left in some areas, but the client was really okay with that because they wanted to do all of their fine sanding anyway. And yeah, so if you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe. Thank you.